Alright guys, these are the tools we're going to need today. We just got some punches, brass hammer, soft base hammer, a couple ratchets, quarter inch, three eighths, as well as we're going to need a 10 mil Allen, as well as a T30 Torx bit. millimeter remove the center bolt Is we're going to use an E10 Torx bit socket. Remove the brake pad sensor. Disconnect as you saw there, just pull the two sensors apart, tuck that wire up behind so it doesn't get caught on anything. Your bolt removed from the back here. This just slides out, you can take a punch and your soft face hammer. Now there are threads in the back of that so be careful you don't damage those. And a few taps, should loosen that right off. At this point, I like to take a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Now that you push back the pistons, you can slide the pads out.
gonna sit that caliper there for a moment. I'm gonna grab a bungee cord to tie this caliper up. Okay guys, I got the caliper tied up. That way it's not putting any strain on the brake line. I'm gonna get my T30 Torx bit. Set that aside with the rest of the bolts. Now the rotor is free to come off. You may have to hit it with a hammer. And you got the rotor off. All right guys, we're here on the passenger wheel. Um, so we're going to start by removing the, the brake pads, same way, very similar to the front. I'm going to pound out both. and I uh, lost the footage of removing the, the rotor. Uh, but it's the same steps. Once you remove those two 18 millimeter bolts on the rear of the caliper, pull the caliper out of the way. You're gonna remove your T30 Torx bolt in the rotor, remove that. Make sure your emergency brake is released. A couple hits on the hub of the rotor and you can easily remove that. Hey guys, welcome back. Brake parts have finally arrived. Let's check them out. Right, so we got the full Brembo set up here. We got the two-piece 360 millimeter front rotors from uh, Brembo. Absolutely gorgeous. We did end up going with the one-piece Brembos in the rear. Uh, now the OEM manufacturer is Zimmerman, uh, but after doing some research, I'm very confident going with uh, a Brembo rear rotor for the C63. Absolutely beautiful quality. And we decided to go with the Neo Ceramic uh, Brembo front and rear brake pads as well. Uh, so that way we got a full Brembo setup to match the six piston Brembo calipers in the front 
and the four piston Brembo calipers in the rear. Uh, so super stoked to get these installed on the C63 today. As always, I'll leave the links down below in the description for all the parts and where I purchased them. Well guys, let's get to work. All right guys, as you might see over in the, uh, the corner here in the bumper, I am still missing my secondary auxiliary oil cooler um, that is in the shop getting, uh, getting repaired. So I'm hoping to have that back next week there sometime so we can button up the C63 for this summer, get it out on the road and do a quick road test to show you guys what this thing can do. Of course, we're gonna continue on with the brake rotors and pads. Uh, now that everything has finally arrived, we're gonna get them installed. Uh, of course, if you've been watching this video, the reverse order of the removal. Uh, but what we're gonna need today is the soft face hammer. We're gonna need the 10 millimeter Allen socket, as well as a five millimeter Allen socket. And that is if you're going to replace the set screw for the rotor with the Brembo one that comes with the package. Uh, other than that, a 3 8 ratchet, possibly uh, an extension. And uh, if you'd like, also some never sees. I like to put around the hub of the rotor, always makes it easy to remove the rotor down the road.
All right guys, it's that simple. Follow these steps to change your brake pads and rotors on any Brembo caliper setup. If it's a six piston or four piston, um, it's, it's very straightforward. You can do this in your own garage or driveway with some very simple tools. Save yourself a ton of money from not going to the dealership and doing it yourself. Let's check this job out guys. So again, this job was performed with all Brembo. We had the two-piece Brembo in the front uh, with the Neo ceramic brake pads. In the rear, we had the one-piece Brembo rotors with the UV coating um, with the Neo ceramic brake pads in the rear as well. Uh, so all premium products installed on the car today at a fraction of the price with, for parts. And of course, labor saved a ton of money there. Do it yourself here with Full Throttle to help you out. We'll see you next time.